everyone, welcome to Skyworld. So this is a new strategy game by the company that did Arizona Sunshine. It's a turn-based strategy game that takes place on this tabletop in front of you. You can spin it around, see the enemy team base behind the mountain, demon opponent. Sweet rainbow over here. You can pick up the table or put it down, however you want. You can pull it in closer, get a good look at that rainbow. And then you can actually hear the machinery and stuff when you're up close. <laughs> Anyways, I'm on turn one. I haven't actually done anything yet. And I'm just going to go through a whole skirmish with a regular AI. You can also do campaign and there's multiplayer. But the skirmish is going to take a while, so let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is build a food producing building. You just select things with this little laser pointer, and I'll put two workers in there, out of my maximum of three, and they're gonna produce four food every turn, which will help me produce more workers. So these menus, you can grab them, move them around however you want, and then just let them go and anchor them anywhere in your room scale area, which is really cool, because there's a lot of menus, but you can set them up however you want. It's just a really cool way to deal with VR menus. This game is, just super polished, and uh, you can tell that the success from Arizona Sunshine is paying off. Here's another cool <laughs> little menu, or contract actually, to mobilize a general. So I've got this stamp in my hand, King Seal, to prove this contract. And now I've got this general, which is a unit that I can move around. So I moved him to the adjacent territory which we can claim if we make four gold and two stone. So there's not much I can do. It's just my first turn. I used all my stuff. You end your turn, you get a tick of resources. So food from the mill, magic, and some other stuff from the town hall. And then I can build a stone quarry. Put a worker in there. Let's put another worker in there. And uh, he doesn't actually need to do anything since we're still trying to claim that. Let me just go to my floor room and make sure my finances are set up properly. I'm actually going to need four. I'm going to need four gold to, to claim this territory. So I need to raise the taxes on my workers, which is going to make them unhappy and will make me lose a worker. But, I can also raise their food rations, and then they'll just be normal and I won't lose any workers. And it's really cool that you can work these levers to select things. There's a lot of physical objects that you select to navigate the menus in this game, which is really cool. Okay. So if I was a total jerk, I would lose two workers. If I was really benevolent, I would gain two workers. But, I'm just gonna be neutral. And then you can use this lever to change the table around back to the overworld. Anyways, let's end the turn, get those resources that we just set up. And boom, I can build a watchtower. Stamp it. We have taken over a region. Took over a region, made it look way more pretty. And uh, I can't actually build a sawmill yet. I need two wood, so that's going to take two turns. Let's move one of these guys over here. Go back in my throne room. We have a tough road ahead, but I'm certain you will lead us to victory. I'm going to start building up workers now, so I'm going to stop charging them taxes and keep giving them their normal food rations. And uh, every turn I should get a worker. can't afford a sawmill, but now I can. And I'll put it in this spot that says plus one, because it is a production bonus. So it gives me bonus wood. And now, let's move these guys to the new bonus facility. And I'll keep creeping forward with my territory and my general. Gotta protect the rainbow. 
because we see the enemy team is moving forward with their general and they're claiming territory. So even though this is a turn-based game in this like overworld map, when you actually fight, it is a real-time game that plays out just like the mobile game Clash Royale. So if you ever played that game, you'll immediately understand the combat system in this. But if not, we'll see it in action soon in a couple turns. So uh, let's see. Definitely can't afford to do that. Still need one more worker. Okay. Now I start making gold again. And the problem with building too many workers is that they cost food, and then you need to build more food production buildings. Uh oh, they're creeping in on the Rainbow Bridge. Okay. At this point, I'm going to want to build my laboratory and start building up my army, which is composed of these cards. But it doesn't play out like a regular card game. Oh, I don't have any iron. Dang. <laughs> so it doesn't play out like a regular card game. These are like units that you can spawn on battlefields. Is dwindling, sire. So my workers are dwindling. That's not good. Just put down an iron mill really quick. You see why my workers are dwindling. Let's just uh, stop taxes for one turn. Back to the other world. Let me check my resources. So I have seven stone. I'm just gonna move these guys onto iron. And then I'll just have my general hold his ground here. Oh, nice! I can this actually claim this territory. Belongs to us. You're running out of resources, my liege. All right. See, we both have a debuff. Mine's minus forty percent. His is minus twenty. It's because of the number of cards in your deck. You really are supposed to have a eight-card deck, which gives you eight troops to play with and spells. And just gonna end my turn again. Keep building up some iron. Let's see. Your wood supply is nearly depleted. What's my iron at? Four. Okay. I don't care about wood anymore. We're going into a hardcore war mode. Okay, so this building gives me the final resource, magic. So now I'll get all the resources every turn. And I'm just going to wait for him to attack me. So, let's see here. First I'm going to get these fire bowmen. So this is like the research area where you can get new troops for your deck slash army. So fire bowmen, they shoot fire arrows that do My area is, you dot have damage. Run out of iron. Yeah, I still got three left. How much does this guy cost? Four. Okay, so this is a battering ram, the siege weapon that'll only attack buildings. And we'll see why that's relevant when I actually go into battle with this guy. An enemy general has entered our kingdom. What do you do? I'm right, gonna end the turn again. Just to get more resources. This is under attack. Battle is imminent. And then even when they attack you, you can go into the laboratory. There seems to be no end to these demons. My leash, you have nearly deck. run out of iron. Okay, and then you go into the fight. To battle! Go back to the map and then to the fight. So, like I was saying, if you ever played Clash Royale, the mobile the game? Skyworld. It's a lot like that. You've got these two turrets that protect your main base. If you lose your base, you lose. Then you have these cards, and you play them to spawn troops on the battlefield. And you can control the path that they walk. 
by just moving around your hand, which is really cool. Let's send them around the side there, and send some archers behind them. Split them up in case a fireball comes down, because you can also cast spells out of your hand, like this. You've drawn first blood, my liege. It's not actually always worth it to cast fireballs on archers, because it's a three mana card for a two mana card. But sometimes it does give you some momentum. All right, so they're coming from all sides right now. So I have to just defend myself. Put knight in there with area damage. Your mana is too low. Okay. So I managed to fend off those attacks, and now I have pretty big armies that are counterattacking. I'm gonna send a battering ram of my own. Balloons, which are flying units. Now, these seals on the ground are another cool mechanic. You can see it's changing color, and then this airship is floating down, and then it's going to float back up as a blue airship and attack the enemy buildings constantly until they run their army over the seal to claim it. Anyways, let's go back over here and just spawn a bunch of small units to attack this thing, so we do not want that to reach my tower. And then, you can see the mana cost at the bottom of each card, so my total mana is regenerating right now, it just regenerates over time. Once I have five, I'm going to cast a knight. And I'm going to follow him up with a ballist or a battering ram. Nice. We've destroyed an enemy tower. Little army's doing work. Okay. An enemy tower has been destroyed. Boy, battering ram. He's gonna need archers too in case they use balloons. And then, okay, so they're sending battering ram down the middle. Your I'll mana just send is too low to play that card. Fire bowman. Once I get one more mana. And they're really cool because once they light a single dude on fire, it's going to light everyone on fire. And they will quickly die. But look at this guy sneaking around. Not enough mana. Alright, one more mana. Not enough mana. Meanwhile, I'm attacking their main base though, so. And I have my own battery. Straight down the middle, just follow the knight. Yeah. He's screwed. Shouldn't have messed with Rainbow Bridge. Sickest part of the map. Okay. Should keep spawning stuff. I mean, eventually, my airships will just chip it down, because they can't even reach these uh, little seals. There we go! Oh, oops. It was the battering ram. Those battering rams are badass. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. That's impossible! Okay. I got like super deep into the map there. It's really cool that you can do that though. And it feels so good and intuitive, just like natural moving around. So I killed their general. Now he's back at their base. And I can start attacking their little base over here. Can't attack yet. So the throne room. Make sure I'm not being too kind. On my peasants. And uh, I can actually afford to take high taxes <laughs> and give them high food. For at least one turn. Okay, now I can attack this tower. See, it has three reinforcements. Mine only have one, because I'm a cheap ass. So I'll have to attack it three times. Spend three turns on that. 
Let's see what else I could do in the meantime. Spend this one worker. And then... Oops. What I really need is more iron. So I'll just build a second iron mine. Back to normal. It's cool that you can end your turn from that screen. Okay, another attack on this tower. One of your generals is under attack. Battle is imminent. Okay, battle is imminent. The laboratory. Let's get one more card in my deck. What is this? Berserker. Can I even afford it? Oh, I can. It's like a hero unit. I've never actually used one of these, so let's do it. Now I have a Berserker hero in my deck. Do I still have any iron left? I have one. So now I can go to the fourth option, the last one. We can upgrade cards. So with one iron, we can afford maybe one upgrade, one level one upgrade. And you can see the benefits. Plus hit points, plus damage. Plus damage per second. Pull the lever. Get your card stamped, and then it becomes bronze. You can upgrade each one three times. So they come bronze, silver, and then gold. But they cost the same resources as for searching your cards. Luckily, now that I have a full deck, I can spend more of my resources on upgrading. Victory will be ours! Okay. Same basic strat to start off. I have bombers. From first blood, my liege. I don't know even how much those suicide bombers cost. All right, let me throw some fire bowmen in there. They look like really good against that set of troops. But then I'm gonna send my knight down to this. See, they're just setting everything on fire. So if they die, they will kill that entire. Army, which probably costs way more than three mana. Okay, knight followed by battering ram, followed by archers, and they're sending their own naked battering ram. I don't know if that's a good idea. Sending some balloons. Upgraded deck is holding it down. And I just send. Followed by the flame arrow guys, and they're gonna destroy this little army. Watch out. Yeah, give me that airship. An enemy tower has been destroyed. Meanwhile, the knight destroyed the other enemy tower. This game's going very well for me. Oh, I can spawn the berserker now. Run him straight down the middle, rank four style. Archer back up. Thing I can, I got to battle these battle balloons is a battle balloon. So let's do it. Nice! The battle balloons destroyed there. Oh no, archers! Protect your boy! Okay, so these fire bowmen aimed at those balloons. Berserker. He does more damage when he's low HP. According to the card description. Oh, there we go. Bloodlust. Yeah, this uh, this enemy is suffering right now. An enemy tower has been destroyed. All right, we're gonna send another berserker around the side. Four. Let's play it safe. <laughs> Towers are at like 90% HP. His main base is uh, dying, but you never know. He could turn it around. Oh, he's getting owned, actually. 
Aw. He got killed by suicide bombs. That's what he managed to do. Actually, it's going to the night. Get in there. Yeah. Battering ram. For the win. good so far. Praise be, you are victorious. Oh, look. Everyone's dancing That's around. Impossible. Not impossible. Defeated the enemy the general. General. You don't have enough food for your current food ration. We have lowered the setting in the throne room. Not enough food. Uh oh. People aren't going to be happy about no food rations. So we'll give them no taxes as well. Cancel it out. And, uh. I haven't actually used my turn yet. Which I can use to destroy this tower. And then once you do that, you grab this hammer. Boom! 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 Yeah! Oh, that was awesome. See, the dragon saw that. He knows what's going on. And can I afford this? Yes, I can. Because I have plenty of gold and wood. This region now belongs to us. So this will give me more magic. Which I don't actually really need at the moment. What I do need is more food. But I don't want to move my general all the way over here. I could upgrade my castle. That actually seems like a good idea which upgrades your base and your towers in the battle. So, it's actually your pretty significant has buff. now been upgraded. Your stone supply is almost exhausted, my liege. We only got one dude on stone. Maybe I have too much magic here. Get back on stone. Can I build another iron mine? cool that the turns happen like instantly. Okay, I'm just gonna move my guy to the edge of my territory because we can see another general here. And look, this is the enemy's main base, so all I have to do is basically beat his general once and then move to the main base, which triggers another battle event, the final one if you win, and then you win the game. Or else you just have to respawn your general. Okay, let's end it. One more time. One more take of resources. Come attack me. I dare you. Alright. I'll attack him. But first, the blacksmith. Okay. Let's go for the fire arrow, guys. Upgrade them once to bronze. Once again. The silver, and once again, it's a gold. So now they're badass. And how about the knight? So instead of getting new cards, I'm just beefing up my current deck. You're running out of gold, my lady. Yeah, I'm out of gold. That's okay. Those are some nice upgrades. Now I have a food surplus, so I can start taxing my citizens again, and the turn. Oh, whoops, I should have attacked, but whatever, I'll stack now. You have started your attack on an enemy general. Battle is imminent. All right. Oh, but now I have nine iron. And <laughs> you yeah, two cans. Attack, and then go into the blacksmith and upgrade. So, might as well. Let's see, I kinda wanna do the balloons. Oh, gold. 
balloons. We're I've never upgraded the balloons before. My I haven't used them that much. Because they don't introduce them until later on in the game. I think I might be able to afford one more upgrade here. This guy? No. Oh, nice. Battery ram level two. The magic level is dangerously low, my liege. <laughs> so I used all my resources. Now we'll fight. And uh, I hope I crush this guy. With all my gold cards. Okay. What sky world? So you can't control the order in which your cards spawn. I actually just have it at the default. So they usually start with the same basic strategy here. I don't like those guys. Okay, so his fire bowmen are gonna own those guys, but let's see if my gold fire bowmen can hold up. And how about my gold balloons against their balloons? Oh yeah, we did it! Well, they still died, but I'm still proud of them. Faith in my balloons to handle that situation. And then we're gonna send a heavy attack down at this tower. Okay, give me a fireball. Boom! Value fireball. And then I'm gonna spawn the bowmen, and they're just gonna tower tear these guys up. Change over time. Meanwhile, my little siege attack. Started. seals. I can just start pressing really hard again. I've just been destroying this guy. I was actually struggling last night with the same AI. But all I need to do is just have the correct answers for the balloons. I can also not rely too heavily on spells, I found. Fireball's good. Enemy tower. When you have like three, have your eight cards of spells. A lot of times you have dead weight in your hand. They are useful though. Oh yeah. Nice gold balloons. They work. So all my macro in the early game has paid off. The badass pimped out army. And I am just Glorious bringing it day. to this regular you AI. You have defeated them. <laughs> what? No, no, no! I was sure we would win. You've defeated an enemy general. Hey, okay. now I'm just in steamroll mode. So it's like my economy is set up good. I mostly just have to keep it rolling and just keep attacking. And then once I actually enter battle, then I can go do an upgrade spree right before the fight. The region is neutral again. Let's see, that's all I can now do. Smash that's those right. enemy buildings with your Oh hand. yeah. You don't have enough food. Oh no! I selected the menu. No! They just took it for the themselves. Room. One of your generals is under attack. Battle is imminent. Alright. Back to the blacksmith. And, uh, look, I've accumulated a lot of iron. Although, I'm running low on magic. So that doesn't cost as much magic. Your magic level is dangerously low, my liege. Let's start upgrading the fireball, actually. Uh, worth it. Alright, I used up all my magic. So now I'm gonna go into a fight. So I've taken this territory though, so at this point, it looks like it's gonna be two battles with two generals. So I should uh, handily dispatch, and then for I'll take it to the castle glory. for the victory. I'll just switch it up and do fire bowmen in the back this time. Oh, 
first blood, my liege. Oh, yeah. This I'm just gonna build up some mana for that little knight battering ram combo attack. Which also conveniently claims this little thing for me. Alright, one more mana. Not enough mana. Okay, that's a pretty scary attack, but we can deal with it. There, the tower survived. Meanwhile, the gold battering ram is doing some good work. Putting in that chip damage. Hmm, okay. Oops, oops. I'm gonna send a knight at these uh, flaming guys. Do the trick. Alright, didn't even do that much damage with the explosion of the night, which is pretty cool. And then they have a battering ram coming in, which is kind of scary. I'm gonna have both of the seals I'm doing a lot of damage to this tower. My fire guys. Ooh, little balloon attack over there. Get in there! Alright, just gotta keep my eyes on these siege units that they send out. Make sure they don't get any sneaky kills in my towers. And then they can just run down to your base and play your siege units if they really want. Play Clash Royale, it's this like mobile game by Supercell. That's basically this combat system in a mobile game. And I really liked it as like a fun combat system in a game, but I didn't like the game as like a free-to-play, pay-to-win, please give us money for all of these stupid cards, bullshit. So I stopped playing it after like two weeks. So Skyward was really cool because it's that cool battle system, but it's not just a lame free-to-play game. I mean, it is a $30 game, which is kind of a premium price, but it's a very well-designed game. The fact that they did the um, overworld as turn-based strategy, and then the combat as a fun real-time strategy combat system is just genius. It works so well. Like, uh, I have a lot of fun playing this game. Because I've always thought real-time or turn-based strategy works well for VR. There's only a couple good turn-based strategy games out there, though. And real-time strategy games are actually fun in VR, so combining them both makes it just super awesome. Oh okay, yeah, get in there. Leave them down. Alright, oh. He claimed the, uh, the signal. Okay, so we got their towers down. My towers are actually pretty damaged as well, though. So this guy is doing a lot better than previous enemies. Here we go. Hit everyone with the fireball. Soften them up with those basic archers. Well, it's just in a battered ram down the middle. situation like this, you can just wait for them to come up in range, and then you can just spawn your units on top of them, which negates their range advantage. Because usually, if those fire archers could even get one shot off on that cluster, that cluster would be fucked. But, instead, they survive. Oh no! We have lost a tower! Okay, I'm losing both of my towers. So it's 
pretty even battle at this point. I'm not too worried about this, to be completely honest. <laughs> pretty weak little attack. My castle just defended itself. Alright, let's see what you got, guys. Oh, you're making it. This guy's gonna get in a hit. Dang! What a hero! We have lost a tower. Alright, lost a tower. That's not good, but my army's pushing. That looks like a Sean combo there. Ooh, and they didn't manage to take out this badass battering ram yet. Love the battering rams. Love them so much, I'm just one another one. You don't actually need to turn the table, you can just use the laser pointer to start spawning stuff from the other end. But the lives indicate where you can spawn, so there's a neutral zone in the middle, and then I'm in enemy territory now, so. I definitely won't be spawning anything in here. But it doesn't matter, because the death march is on. Customary manor fireball. To the, to the fortress, which does do some damage. Oh, get in there, battering ram. Alright, the, the chip shots are gonna do the trick here. One down. So like I said at the beginning of the video, this is going to be a long video because it's a turn-based game and then these battles take a long time. That's Even though there's a mechanic in place that keeps it from being like a stalemate, like eventually someone will die because of controlling the signs. Defeated an enemy general. The amount of workers is dwindling time. Alright. Well, it looks like my general got slightly hurt. Oh, he's not even hurt anymore. Workers doing good. Stupid workers. Why can't I just be a war general? Okay. And then we turn. One of your generals is under attack. Battle uh, is too magic. <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to do much with that. Oh, that guy costs three. Okay. These each cost one. So the worst card I have is like that Hero Berserker card, but mainly because I've been neglecting it from upgrades. I'm just scared, but I don't understand. Alright, I'm gonna fight. Oh, it's so cool how it just plays out on this table, this rotating table. What's Sky World? And the fire bow. Alright, let's see how the balloons can handle these guys. Oh, perfect. Balloons are a perfect counter to that. Alright. Set all those dudes on fire. Let's do the old combo. Night battering ram push. Some basic archer should be able to take care of that. We do have a battering ram coming, so that's what I should be worrying about. Alright, look, the knight is gonna eat all these explosions. He doesn't even care. Battering ram is still fine. better at his tower, I think. I don't know, he froze my battering ram. Right, bring out some balloons. Another the battering ram. Mm. I'll spawn the sword right in the middle of the melee. Save those archers. Absorb hits from the balloons. Oh no! 
We got fire bowmen. Alright, more battle balloons. And let's see. They're sending a battering ram down this way. I'll send one down that way. And a knight. I also need to claim this central sign, but I kinda in trouble here. Let's bring out the fire arms. We have lost the tower. Alright, I lost the first tower. It's okay. Pretty good attack going on this one. No, it's tearing it up actually. Our general towers. is under attack. Who's attacking general? Oh, okay. An enemy tower has been destroyed. Here we go. Took one tower out. Send that guy straight down the middle to at least claim that that sign. Spider-Gram just ate those things up. Okay, I'm just gonna spawn a knight right in the middle of these guys, and he's just gonna cleave them to death. There we go. One shot. Oh no. Not enough mana. He just froze my balloons. Then I cast archers on top of the freeze. We have so I'll probably still lose. Nice, got both their towers. So this enemy is higher level than the last enemy. That's probably why it's being tougher. Just need to use something here. I don't have anything in my hand that can really hit these, except for that. Now I do. Alright. Another battering range straight down the middle. Kind of at a disadvantage here, but we'll be okay. Just a very small disadvantage. Yeah, tear them up, archers. That's what I like to see. Fireball. So I don't want to have my my swordsman just get completely negated. And killing Fireballmen with a fireball is a three mana trade for a three mana card. So it's worth it. So yeah, it's really cool that this game is just a thirty dollar game that has all the features just unlocked. So you don't have to buy anything. Uh, you can just enjoy all the different cards and all the different units and stuff. And I'm really enjoying just the whole format of this game. Like the implementation, the menus, the graphics, the way you can move around the table. It's all so cool. Let's look at my victory here. Get them, troops, yeah! It's crazy, the rocks actually like fly at your face. And you're like, whoa! <laughs> yeah! Look, the balloons are just like automated balloons. They must have! You've defeated an enemy general. The amount of workers is dwindling, sire. I don't care about my workers anymore. Well, I gotta heal my general from the damage he took, so just take some gold. There we go. Give him his little potion. March ever forward. The amount of workers is dwindling, sire. Oh, I can't attack the castle. I'm venturing far Just from yet. your borders. If you battle another general, you will do so with a penalty. Ooh, a penalty. Let's 
fix this worker situation really quick. Okay, we don't need to tax him anymore. Now that I have 50 gold. Making some bread. That's about all I can do this turn. But now, your general cannot move that far during this turn. Ah, oh, another doorstep first. Come on, let me attack the castle. Okay, here we go. Started your attack. Final battle. Is even the. Do some upgrades really quick. Oh, not enough magic for that. These guys are like my bread and butter. They deserve upgrades. Just as much as everyone else. Okay, that uses up all my magic. We're doing the final battle. Oh, I can use workers. Okay, so it's just a regular battle, nothing special about it, but uh, if you win, you win the game. So, attack with the swordsman. And the fire archers. The enemy has drawn first blood. Oh, that was bad. I should have fireballed those things. Looks like they managed to slow down their own Berserker by casting a Frost Spell on my balloons. Thank you for that. Alright, just keep that guy busy. We need to start claiming some of these things. Towers. The other one's at full HP, while mine are both super low, but still promising. And you got a battery ram coming for me. Uh oh. An enemy tower has Take him out. No! I was hoping they wouldn't land any shots. Ah, oh, even just one shot took out my whole squad. Now this tower is screwed. Over here's a little good. Tower. We have lost a right. tower. I have faith in those archers. They can do it. Our general is under attack. Secure a victory, basically, as long as I control all these signs in the middle. Yeah, do some damage in there, battering ram. Mm, that's what I like to see. Ah, let's get a free spell on that. Boom! <laughs> Fireball. GG, noob. It's just an AI guy, so don't feel bad. Praise be, you are victorious! Yay! Good what? job, team. No, no, no! I was sure we would win! Alright. 
So, there you have it. That was a little skirmish match. That was Sky World. We'll go back to the main menu here. So this is a fully featured strategy game. It has campaign, skirmish, multiplayer, and there's just a lot of maps. Different environments. I was playing on normal. You can go up to insane or down to very easy. And then the campaign, which I haven't done that much of yet. I'm on chapter three, but it is voiced and it's a good tutorial that slowly introduces you to the mechanics of the game. Like I played up to chapter three and then uh, <laughs> I started playing skirmishes and I had never encountered air units before and I kept being owned by them and I was like, oh man. I need to find a way to deal with this. And I did it. <laughs> so, uh, that was Skyworld. If you're into RTS games, or turn-based strategy games, or just into cool VR games in general, and you think that this format looks cool, then definitely check this one out, because it's super polished. This company that made it, I honestly don't even remember what their name is, but they made Arizona Sunshine, which is one of the most highly regarded VR games out there. I think most people would say it's probably the best zombie shooter game and some people would say it's the best VR game, period. So they had a lot of success with that game and you can tell that they put a much higher budget and uh, effort into this game than a lot of other games that we see on Steam these days for 30 bucks or even 40 bucks or more. The combat system is really fun. The way they combined turn-based and real-time strategy is really cool. It kind of reminds me of playing Battle Chess, which I really loved as a kid but uh, actually being able to control the armies with this cool, well, I can't see the menus anymore, but the card-based system is really cool because even though at first I was like, oh, card-based combat, but then, uh, I mean, it's just a cool way to summon armies and it's kind of like a mix of like Dota creeps and RTS where you're actually like controlling the creeps, you're, like the creep master. <laughs> so yeah. That's Skyworld, and uh, I highly recommend this game if you're at all into this type of game where you think it looks cool. So thanks for watching this channel. Check out my, or thanks for watching this video. Check out my channel if you want to see more virtual reality gameplay content. And have a great day, and goodbye. Yeah. Oh, sorry guys. Oh, sorry about that. Mm, not gonna help you out there, but oh shit! <laughs> I thought he was gonna die. He went. He managed to land an attack. Okay.